Jawahir, a 26-year-old woman who went missing on December of 2020. And nine months later, the cops found her remains on the same place where her family were looking. Alongside some friends, dogs, planes, drones, you name it. Yet somehow, they've managed to miss her. Her whole family is completely shocked that her daughter's remains turned up in this area after they spent months searching for her here. And only the cops were the heroes. Or were they? Let's go over the details. Yo, assalamu alaikum, welcome to my new video, which is gonna be entirely an English version. Why? Well, we just need everybody who lives in the US currently to participate in this video. How? Watch this until the end. We told you about the search for this woman, 26 year old Jawahar Haji, when her family reported her missing. Jawahar Haji is the name of an eldest 26 year old daughter. When she was 15, her father passed away. So she helped raise her siblings and was like another mother to them. And as for her mother, she was more than just a daughter. She was a friend, her love. After 26 years raising your, your daughter, then her end like that? No, she didn't, she don't deserve that, Jawahir. She had the most beautiful qualities. She was very likable, passionate, ambitious, and giving. Also, she was sharply intelligent. She finished high school and then university studies in economics. But on December 23 of 2020, Jawahir left the house at around 11.30 and did not return home for several hours. So her mother was very worried and was not at all reassured. She tried to call her friends, but they didn't communicate with her. Nobody knows where she is. So she waited until sunset, but Jawahir never returned. Jawahir's mother told those around her something was wrong. So to ease the pain a bit for the mom, they told her maybe she was with one of her friends or did not want to talk to anyone. But that's not like Jawahir. And if something was up, Jawahir always come to her mom. And whatever happens, she would never leave the house. But you know what they say, a mother's intuition is a mother's intuition. And that feeling is growing inside of her mother. She knows she's in danger. And she would have called the cops if America's laws hadn't prevented her from doing so. Because you know, she's an adult. So she can't do anything until three days later. There was no sign of my sister. The first day passed and she did not return home. The second day passed and the hours felt like years for her mom. And the wait was agonizing. She could no longer bear it and submitted a report on December 25, crying that she was certain her daughter was in danger and that she had no choice but to accept the reports. At 2 a.m., she received a call from the police informing her that Jawahir's car was found in a mountain and that she needed to go recover it. First question mark, people. So in disbelief, her mother said, where is she? He replied coldly, I don't know. We found the car and the keys on top of it. The cop also stated that the plane would clear the area for her early in the morning. Jawahir's mother and her sister went to the policeman's address to pick up the car later that evening. The area was terrifying and dark. And according to the law, one of the cops had to be there, but there's no cop to be found. She said she found the car just like the cop said. She said she found her keys, her bag, and her phone. Later, she found out she wasn't supposed to touch the car and that they had to line the area with caution flags since there were definitely fingerprints or other evidence in the car. Anyway, she drove home and couldn't sleep till next morning, 5 a.m. About 20 people and the mom went to the site where Jawahar had gone missing. They examined the area in the hopes of finding her or pursuing any clues. This is the area where police found her car soon after she went missing. Those who helped search for her still have questions. The calls for Jawahar persisted and there is no answer. Some of them looked on foot, others in cars and found nothing. Furthermore, the cops did not show on time. So they called them and asked them to join them. It's their job. Come on. But the cops surprisingly said they can't come because they do not have any planes to search for at the moment. What? Also, the case's lead investigator is on leave, which will conclude in two days. Very frustrating. The mountainous area was a building area belonging to one of America's well-known architectural companies. And part of the front of the mountain was a park for many people who loved walking. And as for where Jawahar's car was found, it was a place full of construction workers, especially at the hour they told her mom that her daughter
daughter entered the area at around 12 p.m. On the day she disappeared. Strange things are about to happen, literally. The mom wanted to see the surveillance cameras that show Jawahir getting out of the car and putting her keys on top of it. I mean, come on, it's unlike her daughter. But the cops won't do that. And they only showed her one video, this particular one. Here you can see 26-year-old Jawahar Heji walking alone right near a construction site in Henderson. We now know this is the last moment she's seen alive. The cop also said that the cameras are too far from the location of the car and do not explain it. And that the policeman who found the car found on top of it the key, phone, and wallet. Maybe there's someone else involved. Especially, it's a work area. And the company's laws is not to allow any vehicle to enter after 6 p.m. So how did they leave her car there for three days without reporting it? Things are getting stranger and stranger. So every day, her mom, her relatives, and a large group of volunteers went to the area looking for Jawahir. They made a significant effort. She even rented special dogs to track the trail, all without finding the slightest trace of Jawahir. So by the end of the day, she was most certain that her daughter was not on the mountain. Even if it was a dead body. I mean, it is true that the mountain is large and scary, but there are no serious heights or it could hurt anyone if it falls from it. The possibility of Jawahir falling from a place in the mountains was highly unlikely. And even if she did, they would have found her. Because every place in the mountain were exposed. Now after the investigator returned from his vacation, Jawahir's mom called him to tell him that the mountain was filled with surveillance cameras and certainly contained footage of Jawahir, right? The investigator lacked taste in his words and treated her very rudely. He spoke in high tone and told her he would go check and called her if anything new was to be found. God be with her mother. Jawahir's mom kept calling the investigator, but he kept ignoring her for no reason. So she started sending him emails constantly until he replied. And you have any idea what he said. And I quote, Do you think I'm working on a case other than your daughter's? I told you to wait until I call you. End of quote. What kind of investigation is this? Come on, my man. About a week after she disappeared, the police moved with their dogs and followed Jawahar's trace until they suddenly stopped at a large rock in the mountain. But wait, the police said that Jawahar had certainly been recovered from this spot. The dog never moved and spotted at the exact spot. Which means Jawahir walked all the way up there. So what's weird? However, police search of the area continued for three days along with. Jawahir's mom said, I was surprised that the police wanted to turn the table on me. They say they show me and my kids a polygraph, but I was aware of America's laws for more than 27 years. And I knew I had the right to object to this request. I told them that I would agree on this on the condition that they display all 20 workers who were present while Jawahir was entering the area on polygraph and interrogating them, which of course did not happen. And then her mom also said they treated her rudely and even came to her house and interrogated each person separately in a police car. You see, the cops were trying in various ways to turn the scales and implicate one of her sons in the disappearance of their sister. But now she had appointed a well-known lawyer to save her from these evil people. Also, they were totally refusing to show her the CCTV camera footage, despite her various attempts at it, but they have stuck to their story and refused to show her any footage. And the only footage she saw was the 10 second video, which you probably have seen. Three months later, now things are getting even stranger because now Jawahir's mama received a strange call from an unknown woman telling her one sentence she wouldn't forget. She said, and I quote, you'll never see her again. What? She said her voice was full of hatred and anger, so she couldn't hold herself and call the cops. But what's more strange is that when she told the cops and gave them the woman's number, the cops did not care. I mean, think about it. As a cop, in this very case, if you receive a call like this, this could be a lead to the case, man. But no, she is an Arab woman. They wouldn't treat her the same, if you know what I mean. The cops refused to track the phone number which she gave because they said it would cost more than 50 
$250,000. Come on, man. I can buy a Tesla for way less than that. In fact, till this day, this woman remains unknown. And Joahed's mother is always wondering, does this woman have a hand in the disappearance of my daughter or not? But I guess we'll never know. About two weeks later, the investigation team called to surprise Jawahir's mother and the head of the investigation told her that they had not found a solution to this case and they would close it. She began to dispute with them about how logical it is for them to close the case after only three months without attempting to solve it. But you know what? They said, and I quote, We do not work for you. Therefore, we do not consult you on the issue. We merely inform you that the case will be closed since there is no proof of your daughter's abduction. And we paid enough money on this case. Enough. Honestly, guys, I'm a lot disappointed in you. Now, she kept arguing that her daughter did not leave the mountain. And if they say otherwise, they should prove it, right? They told her maybe she fled to Mexico. What? I mean, come on, she's a 26 year old woman. She's not 17. Also, she's an Arab woman. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but in the Arab world, we do not leave our families. So fleeing to Mexico to start a new life, come on. But let's say she did. Why would she go to Mexico or any place for that matter without her passport? This does not make any sense, my man. By now, Jawahir's mother had had enough and wanted to turn the case into the FBI. But the cops refused used to turn the case over. Why? Because he said there is no evidence that Jawahir's disappearance is a crime or that someone kidnapped her. Now, an important thing to mention here is that when the investigator called her mom for the first time and took Jawahir's phone from her, he asked for Jawahir's toothbrush so that he could take a DNA from her. She asked him why. He replied, and I quote, I need it if I found Jawahir's body. So she told them when they find the body, she would come to identify it. He replied by saying, including bones. How could the investigator think that he would found the missing bones before he even went out to his team to investigate? But Jawahir's mother was certain that the fate of her daughter was known by the investigator from the very beginning. It is also important to mention that she appointed a private investigator to assist the investigation team, but they did not cooperate with him at all and told her there was nothing for him to do. But before that, he had suggested that she contact a company that would provide her with special sniffer dogs to smell the dead. But when the company come to the mountain where Jawahar disappeared, they were shocked because they were prevented by the police from entering. You want to know what they said? This place is considered a crime scene. And if the company violates the ban, it will be held accountable. So they back away from that. But wait, if it's a crime scene, why they would not let her turn this case into the federal security? At one point, she asked to change the low taste investigator who was dealing with her. So they replaced him with another one who was no different from him. September of 2021. Nine months later, the investigator called Jawahir's mother and told her to come to the office and asked her for her DNA. Why? Because they found bone residue that might be Jawahir's. Henderson police announced this morning that her skeletal remains were found near Black Mountain early last month. I think by now, we all know the scenario to this story. But there's more. A week later, Jawahir's mom says they called and told us they found bones belonging to Jawahir and that they also found her clothes and her skull separated from her body and that the bones were distributed in several places which took them a long time to collect them all and that the one who reported the bones was a rock climber who had found them in a rugged place that no one could reach on foot. But you know what's strange? Is that the place where they said they found the bones was among the areas they had researched with the volunteer team which made her think that Jawahar's bones were in potentially dumped in that place long after she got killed. And the distance between her car, which they said she got out of that day, to the place where her bones were found was very long and it was impossible to walk them. I wish she could have been found sooner. We all wanted a different outcome, all of us. Especially me as a mom, I, I cannot imagine what her mother is going through. In any case, 
Her mom wanted to bury her daughter and honor her, but that was delayed for more than a month because they found the head separated from the body. And according to what she knows, the head was not separated from the body, even if it was skeleton, except in two cases only, which is either the victim was strangled with great force until the neck bone separated from the body or by cutting off the head. Whichever case it was, it means there is a crime. It was about a month after the bones were discovered that it came time to finally bury them. So she insisted, despite the resistance of everyone around her, that she washes and shrouds them herself from the whole skeleton. But no, she kept her cool and tried to arrange the bones as if they had died naturally. And the bag that contained her things did not contain her medical glasses she was wearing, nor her shoes. And when her mother tried to find out why, they said that is only what they found. Obviously, they were lying. Not to mention that the mountain is inhabited by many animals that may have eaten the rest of her corpse. And after many months of her mom's suffering, she now could finally bury her own daughter. But the truth behind her death remains unknown. On the 18th of November 2021, the investigation office called her mom to tell her that they determined the cause of death as unknown. And that's it to this story. Jawahar's mother tried everything, went to every place, but when all doors were shut in front of her face, she came to social media, to us YouTubers. And this is why we need you guys, because the case is not closed yet until we find out the real truth behind what happened to Jawahir. So let us all stand behind her and help her out. How? Well, just share this video as much as you can with everybody in the US. Also, don't forget to share this hashtag because it would help a lot with this case. I'm counting on you guys. Let's do this. All that's left to say, I'll see you on another one. Take care. Peace. If it was me, I would want someone every day non-stop searching. It's just so crazy to me how they were able to find my sister in the same location we were searching every fucking day. I'm shocked. I can't talk. Even my tears just to freeze. We were um, out here so many times that I just felt like this was like the right spot, the right area. I feel like somebody did something and brought her back. But it's like so many different scenarios that we don't know what happened. We need fucking answers. I need justice for my sister. This is not okay. <laughs>